So here is a wacky pad that I found from a long time ago. And I configured this so that you could, you know, adjust volume or mute the volume or change channel. That by default it took to TV mode. But then you could uh, go into the DVD menu and control the DVD. And it had a, a, a link to a volume menu. Um, you could also, you know, go to VCR and do the same thing. And uh, I had TV as well. And it was a very cool project. I had an all off button that shut everything off and took you back to the home screen. There was an admin menu. And oh, it looks like some of maybe the icon files are perhaps corrupted. I don't remember what I'm supposed to do. But, uh, you know, I have, oops, oops that button's sticking a little bit. I don't know what the admin menu was. I'll have to figure that out, but. Anyways, this was a very cool project because it was um, it was just kind of a cool thing. You know, these things allow you to change color of the button. You can draw your own icon files for the buttons, um, and uh, and it's power over Ethernet, so you can uh, run the thing off power over Ethernet or DC in. This was ran off DC in. I'd sprayed some silicone conformal coating on the circuit boards. I don't know if you see the shininess, but I'd done that with when I installed these so that they would last longer in a salty, moist environment. And it's actually really cool to have gotten one of these back. I do feel like maybe, you know, we're getting close to the apocalypse or something for the Lord to let me go get something that I installed so long ago. I believe I installed this before Anita, which would have, Anita was in 2008. So I believe this would have been 2006 or 7.